Hello, Captains, and welcome to Star Trek Online. In one hand, I've got coffee. In the other hand, I've got a beer. And in the other hand, I've got Star Trek Online. And this equals happiness. So, today I'm going to do something a little bit different and show you a new reward that has just been released. It is with the Crystalline Cataclysm event that came about in August of 2018 and is still going on right now here in September of 2018. There's a chance to grab a new matter conversion energy weapon. It's either a beam array or a dual heavy cannon. And today I just want to show you that new piece of gear that you can get when you do the whole uh, crystalline cataclysm event and get all 14 shards. And I'll also show you another reward from past Crystalline Cataclysm events that you could have had if you had played or been in this game previously. That kind of goes hand in hand with this weapon that we have in this event. And to further that, I would actually wish they would attach a bonus to them because used together it forms kind of a new kind of crystalline uh, gear kit or gear set in a way and we're going to go over that uh, but first of all before we begin this is my character that you may not have seen uh, before and if I have you have seen her before or I have used her in the past I have not shown her much this is my primary Klingon character although it's not a Klingon that I'm playing it's an Orion uh, but it is a KDF character, full KDF faction character. And this is my primary one, the one that I first began when I played the game and uh, the very first KDF character I ever created. Her name, she is a she, is Romana. Uh, actually, I have the full name spelled out as it is in Doctor Who, but we'll just, for shortness terms, here it is right here in the chat box so you can... So you can see I've got it half fully actualized there in the name and I'm not even going to pretend to um, pronounce it, but we'll just call her Romana, of course. That is the shortened form. And um, basically this is an engineering character. So this is engineering. And like I said, I've had her since the beginning of the game, uh, the first year of the game. I rolled a KDF as well as a Federation faction. And of course it was a lot different back then, so she's evolved over time. Um, as you can see, here she is. She is an Orion female. And uh, engineering, as I stated, just so you have a little bit of background on this character and uh, the career type. The ship that she is currently running is the Moog Battlecruiser Tier 5U. So this is not even a Tier 6 ship yet but it is a tier 5 view. It is a ship I have been meaning to do a review on in the past, and I just never have. Uh, but here it is, and one day I will get a review done on this ship. But it is the Moog Battlecruiser Tier 5 view, um, the IKS Nightmare Child. And here is her setup. Now, when I created this character at the time, this was, you know, a very long time ago, anti-protons were definitely the way to go. And so it is an anti-proton setup, and it is dual heavy cannons, because at the time, um, that was the way to go. Again, dual heavy cannons, anti-protons, and they are the advanced fleet anti-proton dual heavy cannons. So they're not uh, anything that's real new. They've been in the game for a very long time. Uh, but that's what I have, and I've kind of had this build on her for this long, and it's worked out just fine. And of course, I've got... Uh, you know, I have maxed out everything to the latest Mark level and uh, quality level at the time, which was previously Mark 14 Epic. Of course, now we can do Mark 15 Epic, so I need to upgrade her further. And she is level 65, so she is current max level. Uh, it's just that I need to get the gear upgraded and so forth. And I just put a new piece of uh, gear on her, the uh, House of Martok defense configuration. Uh, a very cool console there. I think it fits nicely with the Klingon theme there. Uh, but anyway, what we're going to talk about today is the Crystalline Cataclysm reward. So if you go to your uh, reputation and you go down here to, of course, events and so forth, the, the event tab here, you can add the Crystalline Cataclysm event uh, rewards. 
Uh, now, it doesn't show it for me right now because I actually completed it. So what it's showing for me now is this extra award package I can get. I can continue to get shards, and it only takes one shard. And I will get a, a choice mark package and uh, fleet marks and dilithium uh, every time I want to play this. And I may go ahead and play it again in this video today just to show you what the event reward uh, looks like in combat and also just to show you what the extra event bonus reward after you finish the event gets you. But what I want to show you today is of course the reward that you get. Um, you have two choices. Now I know my inventory is absolutely full um, but you have two choices and this is actually one of the choices right here and the other choice is right here which I've already added. Um, you get two drops when you get your reward so keep that in mind you get two drops the first drop you get the anti-proton matter conversion beam ray and then similarly you get an anti-proton matter conversion dual heavy cannon so of course you can use both or you can use one or the other i think you can use both actually i've never tried to use both let's see if it can equip both yeah it looks like no it looks like we can't <laughs> so there you go there's your answer if i take this out for example no, I can only use one matter conversion at a time. So I cannot use a beam array or the dual heavy cannon matter conversion at the same time. I can only use, yeah, I can't even use it in the rear. I can only use one or the other. So there you go. You only have a, you have a choice. You have to use either the dual heavy cannon or the single beam or the uh, single beam array. You cannot use both together. So a little bit limiting there, but I guess their idea is you can only have one quote matter conversion item at a time. Since my build is dual heavy cannons, I'm using the dual heavy cannon version. Uh, but this is what you get in the reward. It, uh, if you're level 65, you'll get a Mark 13 version of this. So it's Mark 13, very rare, that it unpacks. And uh, this is the reward here, uh, matter conversion. And uh, it's got crit D, damage, and proc on it, which means it has an extra proc. And then this also has crit D. This one has crit H and proc on them. Um, they can be re-engineered. You, can, you cannot re-engineer the proc, but you can re-engineer the crit H and the crit D on them. And on this one, let's just double check. Re-engineer, yep, same thing here. You can re-engineer the damage and the crit D, but not the proc. So you can fill this thing out with all crit D or all damage if you want. So as you upgrade it, of course, you'll get the extra extra slots. You know, you'll get another modifier out there. So you can put all crit D on this thing or all damage and uh, make it very, very good. So re-engineering, absolutely possible, except for the proc modifier that is not. And then, of course, you can upgrade the item as well. You'll be able to take it up to Mark 15 Epic as well. Okay, so what does this thing do? Well, let's read a little bit more about it. Of course we know what beam arrays do but the anti-proton matter conversion beam array has a chance to restore whole hit points over time so it restores your whole health or your hit points your your, your um, whole strength over time and a chance to reduce the targets resistance rating against all energy damage which sounds very similar to spiral wave disruptors if i'm not mistaken somebody correct me but i believe the new spiral wave disruptors also have the ability to reduce the resistance rating against all energy damage i know the coalition disruptors is only against disruptor energy but i think the spiral uh, disruptors spiral waves are against all energy so it's kind of similar in that ability however these also have a chance to restore your whole hit points so if you've got a tanking tanking kind of uh, ship or a ship that you need to you know last a long time uh, with the whole strength this could be very good I guess really this could just be good on any ship because even an escort could benefit from those whole hit points over time it, the, the big question is you know how much of that whole hit point is it increasing over time is it a very small amount is it big enough to notice is it a does it take a long time to get there or is it very quick those things will make a big difference 
says the target's resistance rating against antiproton is reduced more than okay so this is different so this is similar to the coalition disruptors because the coalition disruptors they have a greater uh, resistance or reduction in resistance uh, debuffing against disruptor type energy and so similar to that these matter conversion have a greater reduction in resistance with antiproton damage or resistance rating because they are firing antiproton energy so i guess this is a little bit of a hybrid it's a little bit like a spiral wave disruptor and a little bit like a coalition disruptor put together but based on antiproton energy and uh and using that type of energy I think, if I'm reading this correctly, well, that's a very interesting weapon then. And also you get this whole hit point restoration over time. Or, uh, yeah, chance to restore whole over time. It's, now again, it's a chance. So that means it's not 100% guaranteed. And that leads me to, you know, it's, it's like, you know, you're just not guaranteed every time that it's going to happen. But you're going to have this chance. And I do wonder what that chance is. So that's what makes the matter conversion beam arrays uh, or the dual heavy cannons matter conversion. That's the specialty of that. So here is what the single beam looks like. Uh, 837 antiproton damage, 669 DPS, two and a half chance of negative 10 energy resistance rating for 30 seconds, stacks up to five times, which is also similar to the coalitions because they stack up to five times as well, I believe. Damage resistance rating debuff is doubled for anti-proton damage. Two and a half chance plus, okay, so here's the hit point advantage. It's a plus 300 hit point every one second for 10 seconds. So that is a little bit there, but not a ton. And it's only a two and a half chance. I guess on an escort it could add up to be pretty big, especially if you get all 10 seconds. But it's only a two and a half chance. So that's kind of small. And then of course the other modifiers are based on whatever modifiers you have on there. So that's basically what you're getting as far as that goes. And I believe it should be the same for the dual heavy. Two and a half chance plus 300 hit points every one second. Um, resistance rating for 30 seconds, negative 10 energy resistance rating for 30 seconds, stacks up to 5 times. Damage resistance rating is debuff is doubled for anti-proton damage. Yeah, so that's what these do. That's their special ability. You're going to get a little bit or a chance to have your hit points improved when you're in combat. You're going to have a chance to uh, have this extra resistance rating uh, or de decrease the enemy's resistance rating, I should say, and that can stack up to five times, and then it's doubled with anti-proton damage, meaning, of course, you would want an anti-proton build with this and to, to benefit from all that and just have a really powerful uh, abilities there. And so that's what I've got on here now. That's what I'm going to use. So that is the reward for the Crystalline Cataclysm event in August, September 2018. This is what you're going to get. So I'm going to attach this in here. This is the dual heavy cannon. And we're going to take this into combat. I'm going to show you that. Now these do fire purple. I've already checked it out. These do fire purple. So that's pretty. The anti -pro the regular anti-protons, of course, fire reddish. Um, and these are just regular advanced fleet anti-protons I have on here. So we're going to take this into combat and we're going to see how that fires. You're going to see the color of it and uh, what that looks like. And I think I'll go ahead and disable like all my other weapons except for just that. So you can just see by itself what it looks like. And then I'll go in and enable everything else and we'll see it all together. But I, was, I want to kind of isolate it and show you what it looks like by itself. Uh, the other thing I want to show you was a previous reward from the Crystalline Cataclysm event. I forget how many years ago this was, but uh, this was a little while ago. Uh, this is the Crystalline Energy Torpedo Launcher. And the reason why I want to mention this weapon is because it is based on anti-proton damage. It is literally an anti-proton torpedo. And that goes hand in hand with this whole anti-proton build on this character I've got, plus the new antimatter 
or antimatter, antiproton uh, matter conversion uh, dual heavy cannon or single beam. These they go hand in hand like that. Um, so this is a crystalline energy torpedo, um, and of course you see I've got it on uh, Epic right now, and this was before you could re-engineer stuff, so the modifiers that are on it now is what it came with by itself, which was accuracy, crit D, crit H times 2, but now that I can re-engineer things, I can change everything on it. So I definitely will be re-engineering this in the future. Uh, but, of course, I could not do that before. This has only been a recent addition I'm able to do now. Um, but this one is really cool. Crystalline Energy Torpedo Launchers Fire Projectiles. So it, it fires like these like three little projectiles, like missiles, that deal heavy anti-proton damage. Crystalline Energy Projectiles deal average damage and have a, a, a longer than normal recharge. Unlike most torpedo launchers, the crystalline energy torpedo launcher's damage is enhanced by abilities and items that improve anti-proton damage and not those that are improve traditional torpedo weapons. So that means all of my anti-proton consoles down here under the tactical improving anti-proton damage improve the damage of this torpedo. So anti-proton damage improvements improve anti-proton damage torpedo. You can see it targets foe, 90 degree targeting, 10 kilometer range, 8850 anti proton damage, 737 DPS, plus 4 as are based on my modifiers I have there. I'll change that in the future. But what's cool about this is it's part of that whole crystalline set. So it's crystalline energy torpedo, and then you got the anti proton matter conversion. So these two weapons, these two weapons, or this one here included with this one, these could be a set, and they should be a set. What Cryptic needs to do is add a two-piece modifier to these sets so that if you have both the Crystalline Energy Torpedo and one of the new Matter Conversion weapons, then you would get a set two bonus. That's what they should have with these. They should make start making this a, crystal, a quote Crystalline set or gear set. They should put these together and do that. And then all they would need is a third piece to it. And there might actually already be a third piece. Yeah, there's this console here. Check this out. They could actually combine it with this and make a three-piece set. This is the console universal crystalline absorption matrix. I believe this was another, um, another reward. And I want to say it was with the crystalline entity reward or the crystalline cataclysm event reward i actually don't remember where i got this from but i have it and as you can see having it on your ship gives you plus 19 energy damage resistance and look at that plus 19 percent anti-proton damage so i actually it would benefit me to put it somewhere on my ship i probably will replace i'll do it right now i'll probably replace this well i don't want to mess up my build for this video but I'll probably replace that with this because this gives plus 19% anti-proton damage and it gives energy resistance plus random anti-proton damage. Oh yeah, that's actually really good. For 15 seconds, you get plus 500 energy damage resistance rating every three seconds to three random targets in forward. I'm gonna apply matter conversion beam for 761.9 anti-proton damage. When presented hit by energy damage, ooh. Okay, I'm putting that on right now. Forget that. I'm going to try this now because I didn't even realize I had that or I did and I had just forgotten to put it on. But we're doing that now. So now you see I've got all three of these quote crystalline things on. This crystalline uh, absorption matrix, crystalline torpedo, and then the new matter conversion dual heavy cannons. They should take all three of these things and give us a set two and a set three bonus because I definitely have all of them, and boy, wouldn't that be cool to have a new set two and set three bonus. You could call it a crystalline kind of bonus or whatever, crystalline entity bonus. That's what they should add to that. That set should have that. I absolutely believe that. That would make it so much more powerful. So that's really cool. I didn't know that I had that there, so I'm gonna use that for sure. Does that, does that give me a new ability? I wonder. Um, let me just quickly look through my power bar here and see if there's any new abilities added. Just want to double check. It may just be. No. Is that an activatable ability? It is. 
Wow. Okay. So we can come energy damage when engaged. Matrix uses absorbed energy to fire and amplify highly focused matter conversion beams. Ooh, at multiple targets, which are capable of piercing through ships. I've never used this before, so I'm finding out something new right here, live, in this video for you guys. I'm Here I am making a video to show you the ma new matter conversion weapons, and I've found something brand new for me to play with already. Oh, that's pretty. I am definitely going to be using that now. Sweet. Well, I just found something new. <laughs> well, that's great. All right. Cool. I'm definitely going to use that. Cooldown is two minutes on it. Okay. Well, I got something new to play with. But let's look at the DPS and all that on my matter conversion weapon. So, where are you? Here you are. So here's the anti-proton matter conversion dual heavy cannon. Right now, with all the buffs and traits and everything I have enabled, I'm doing 2,000 anti-proton damage with it and 1608 DPS. And then, of course, it's got that two and a half chance of plus 300 hit points. And I guess we'll just look at to see, you know, when that happens, when that fires off on its own. We'll see if there's any kind of visual indicators for that. And then uh, the torpedo, the crystalline torpedo, it is doing 9,109 anti-proton damage and 759 DPS. And like I said, I probably will be re-engineering that, and I will be re-engineering this one and upgrading it as well. So yeah, that's only, remember, that's only Mark, um, that's only Mark 13 very rare. So we've got a lot of improvements that we're going, going to be able to get with that. My fleet ones that are at Mark 14 Epic, they're at 2421 anti-proton damage and 1936 DPS. So yeah, they're more than the new one for right now, but that's only because it's, it needs to be upgraded, obviously. And then these can be upgraded further to Mark 15 as well, so I will have to do that. What I'm going to do to start off our look at this new weapon, though, is I'm going to disable uh, all my wep all my weapons except for the new matter conversion one. We're leaving that one enabled, and we're leaving the torpedo enabled. And we're just going to go into combat with literally just those weapons. That way you can see what they look like just visually so you can see what they look like and we can see if we're getting that temporary whole you know hit point increase over time we'll look at our whole strength and see if that's happening so we'll just take a look at that and then i'll just go into combat with everything enabled and we'll just look at it all together so just those enabled for now turn that back off actually you know what to make it easier on myself let's leave it on but let's move it somewhere where it's not in the way. That'll work. Okay, so to get this started off, let's go let's go do something real simple like a Japori. Something that's controlled that we can play by ourselves without other players. So just so we can see visually what this new thing looks like. And then, of course, uh, we'll do it all together. And I will go ahead and play the Cataclysm event again, just to get that bonus package. We will look at my starting hit points when we get into the level here and see if it increases over time. Here we are in Japori. Okay, my my health or hit points right now is at 106,608. Actually, it's firing all my weapons <laughs> because I did not select Oh, 
Okay, here we go. I keep firing all my weapons. Well, it killed them really fast anyway. There we go. There's the purple ones. And the torpedoes. Oh yeah, look, my whole strength is at 113,414. So there's the torpedoes, or the, uh, there's the uh, purple matter conversion ones firing. That's the torpedo. That's the crystalline torpedo, and those are those firing. And yeah, my whole strength went from 106 to 113. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's about a 12,000, uh, 12,000 pull improvement. That ain't bad, huh? That ain't bad. Let's do it again. That's the torpedo. There go the matter conversion. Give it a little uh, juice there. Look at that. Just have to wait for the cooldown on that proc, I guess, for the uh, for the whole strength improvement. I wonder how quick the cooldown is for that. Again, it's only a two and a half percent chance that my whole strength will increase, so now it's starting to go up a little bit, up and down. Got a siphon on me. So it seems like that whole improvement procced immediately when I shot the first time, so that's good, but it's taking it a little while to proc again. Oops, I did all my weapons. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, my whole strength is going down, obviously. Not even at 100% right now, so actually it might be buffed. Because it's not at 100%. Now it's really not at 100%. So you can see that the matter conversion weapons are very pretty. Um, I don't have any modifiers for beam weapons, but just to show you for comparison's sake what the beam would look like, let's fire off the beam one. Just so you can see what they look like. Where's somebody to shoot? That's weird. Where's everybody at? There's like one lone person. It's got to be somewhere that I'm not seeing. Keeping the next group from spawning in. That's stupid. Come on. It's like one rogue person somewhere out here. Not there. Uh, I'm going to have to go out and come back in, aren't I? Uh, that's so stupid. Okay. 
Let's go out, go back in. It's not behaving correctly today. All right, let's go back in. Now we'll fire off the single beam just so you can visually see what it looks like. I'm back to 106 on my health. Here we go. So that's the beam. And hasn't frothed on the health yet. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. 113, 414. So that is a um, that's a 12,000 a 12,000 hit point improvement. Yeah, that 12,000 hit point improvement can definitely make a big difference. Like if you've got an escort or something. That really can make a big difference for you. Getting in there and doing some damage and getting out gives you a little extra, uh, just a little extra to get in there and do some damage. So, actually, that's not ta that's not bad. That is not a bad improvement when it stacks all ten times. Now, of course, it's only a two and a half percent chance that it will do that, but when it does, that's very cool. Okay, I like that. All right, now let's look at everything everything going here I love those crystalline torpedoes Those crystalline torpedoes just look really cool. So you can see I can do a pretty good amount of damage and these weapons aren't even all upgraded right, right now. Especially the new matter conversion one. I mean, we're only talking Mark, thir Mark 13. Um, very rare right now. Yeah, the purple with the red actually looks kind of okay. That's pretty cool. Definitely doing a lot of damage. taken care of so there you go that's a pretty good look at the matter conversion weapons 
Let's depart and we will do a crystalline cataclysm just to edge this video out. But you can see the matter conversion uh, anti-proton weapons from the crystalline event have a very good visual uh, appearance to them and they do proc that hole. You get like 12,000 on it, that's nice. And I guess they're um, debuffing the enemy on that anti-proton resistance too. So that's something. Let's do a Crystalline Cataclysm Advanced. Turn that back off. So um, I think it's a pretty good weapon. I just wish that uh, you didn't have to choose. I wish you could have a combo of both because I know some people like to do a combination of beams and cannons. And uh, with this weapon, you do have to choose. You can either use the dual heavy or the beam. You cannot use both. So it's just one, which would make sense if they decide to make this a set. If they ever turn this into a set, especially with that, um, that new console I just put on, which I've actually never used before, the Crystalline Anti-Proton Matrix. Um, if they make that a set, they make those three a set. Oh, that would be so cool with a two and three piece bonus. That's right. I didn't use that new weapon. I didn't try that out, but that's just something I'll test on my own. That's a different thing that I wanted to get to today, but the two things I really wanted to hone in there on were those two crystalline cataclysm event rewards, the new matter conversion into proton one and the crystalline torpedo. I've never shown that crystalline torpedo before, but I really like it. I think it's a very cool weapon. And the fact that it's anti-proton based energy, so you can buff it with anything anti-proton, which is very cool. So we'll do this and I'll just show you the extra bonus reward you get for this as well. I like to fly in there cloaked. Keeps everything from shooting at me. I just hit my new thing, so I don't know what it's doing, but I hope it's doing something. It's so hard to see what's going on because there's so many effects happening right now on the screen, so... I know it's hard to see, but I am shooting. I'm shooting all she's got. Right into the belly of the beast. We'll come back out while it's absorbing. Um, there are a couple of things that can tank this, but you basically need invulnerability to tank this. They've changed it now. It's not like it was before. So you really do need uh, invulnerability. It's pretty much the only way to tank that. Oh, crap. I know this isn't too exciting. Pull out. Let that do its thing. And we'll go back in.
Hey, I got second place. And I got a crystal shard, and I'll just show you what the extra little mark package is here that we get. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's leave. So we'll go to uh, reputation, events. You take the one shard at it here, and when you collect the reward, now I get this choice mark. And it automatically added 2,000 dilithium ore and 50 fleet marks. And then I get a choice mark package. Like, let's say I need Lucari marks, maybe. I'll, I'll get that, and there you go, 42 Lucari marks. Not a ton, and um, but it helps you just a little bit more. And then, of course, I can add it again and do more get another shard and get another choice mark package so it just helps you get marks if you need them uh, after you complete the event so that's pretty much it so there you go everybody i just wanted to give you that little uh, review let's say on the new crystalline cataclysm 2018 event reward which was the anti-proton matter conversion dual heavy cannon or single beam array that is what you get that is what they do and i wish they would combine their abilities um, with the crystalline energy torpedo and maybe the console here and put together a two and three piece extra bonus that you could get i think that would be very special and uh, give players that have those an extra a advantage there if you have all those items because i do i have been grinding the crystalline uh, event you know every year and um, I have those items and I really do enjoy uh, that crystalline torpedo and now the matter conversion on here is going to be nice and it'd be nice to have kind of like a crystalline entity build as it were I think that would be very cool and that's uh, one way to do that there with those weapons so anyway that is a look at the reward i hope you all enjoyed that look drop me a uh, comment below and let me know what you think of the new crystalline cataclysm reward for 2018 thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one